Hello, it's Sebastian Danicic again. Uh, now we're going to show you how to read from a URL. Um, so here's a very simple program. Notice we have to import java.net.star. And here we set up a URL to be, uh, here we've put set it to http colon localhost. And basically we open, an um, we open a, a stream and then we simply uh, point the stream at at you and we read from the st from the stream one line at a time and if we run that program we'll find that just the 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 uh, source code of that particular URL will get printed out so let's um let's take this program here and we'll put it into um uh a file so uh, let's call it um, get url one dot java new file. I'll put that in there. I'll call that um, get url one. Save it. Now I'll compile it. Java C uh, get url one. Um, get you. Ah, I made a mistake here. I've got to call it little r, little l. Little r, little l. The name of the file and the class have got to be the same. So I'll compile it. And now I'll run it. And what it's done, it's printed out um, the the um, the source code of the uh, URL which is given by localhost. So if we wanted to see what that was, it's simply my website here. So there's the mail to um, uh, and here's some links, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Where's the mail to? The mail to is is this thing at the bottom here. See, it says mail to me. Okay, so let's go back to the um, website for the course. We're looking at week one. So what we want to do is change this program so we can give it a, we can give it a different URL. Well, obviously, what we could do is we could put something different in here. For example, I don't know www dot doc dot gold dot ac dot uk f uh, doc uh, I should say doc there we go so now I um, recompile the program and I run it and now here I get the um, source code corresponding to the Department of Computing's website now the point is I want to change that so I don't have to, if I want to point it at different URLs, I don't have to recompile the program. So the way to do that, as you know, is with command line arguments. So let's have a look at the program to do that. So the only difference is is that we say in our main we say u equals new url args zero so that means instead of in the old program where we had um, u equals new url um, we, we explicitly put a string there corresponding to a url here I can put a url I, c I just pass it whatever I type in at the command line so that's more general Let's see what happens if I compile and run that one. So let's compile it. Java C get URL.java. To run it, I'll have to say Java get URL and then give it a um, give it a URL. 
and there it's printed out the same before so what happens if I give it a wrong URL it gives it crashes with some exceptions so there's a very simple way of um, using Java to access a website and get the contents of that website which we'll later want to uh, manipulate in different ways <laughs>